Hey everybody, this is Patrick McGuire from the Board Game Estate, and today I'm going to run through a session of Keplar 3042. First thing, we have the board, everything right out here. You have me, right down here, and right above me, you have Captain McLaren. He is our sturdy captain, who will be faring the seas of space, going out to exploring and hopefully getting enough galactic points to make it through the solo mission. So for the solo mission, uh, I am going to do the second campaign, and this is the first level of the second campaign. I figured most people will start with the first campaign, Edge of the Galaxy, uh, so this will be a little different, and uh, you can enjoy that one on your own. So this one gets us this card right here. This is our mission. We need an elite scientific branch. We need to advance at least one technology high enough to earn three prestige. So, if you go over to our little board here, this is our technology board. Um, if you have terraforming, energy development, or quantum physics up to their highest level, uh, you will earn that three, pres three prestige. And that's what we'll be trying to do today. That will give us three victory points. We need 30 in total to beat the mission. So, first things first. We have all our players set up right here. Now we have to set up our satellites. That could be any of our planets. Um, they could also be mines, they could also be just um, things that move us up on the uh, colonial track over here. So, for a setup, we can set up next to any binary star. So that is the ones that look like this. There are uh, double stars that are right here with two, and there are even the triples right down here. One, two, three. Beautiful. So, we will set these guys up. Um, there is no demand to terraform any kind of specific planet or go to any specific zone. You have long range zone, mid zone, and the close short range zone right here. So what we're going to do, let's move some of these to the side, and we're going to set up our closest ones first. So what I'm going to do is kind of do like this. Since we want to get our technology so high, I'm thinking our probable strategy will be um, not to get our sh ship speed too high. Uh, the ship um, speed is right up here on the first track uh, with zero. We cannot move our ship, so we can move them one, three, six, and nine. Uh, we'll probably ignore that just a little bit uh, to get some of the other ones up. So we want to have things as close as humanly possible to our home base. This is Seoul. This is where Earth is um, down there and we'll worry less about what is out here. So ideally what we want to have is um, high level planets out there that we can colonize and then gain resources from them, hopefully. But everything is kind of stirred up at random, so we won't exactly know what we're going to get. But we'll have a good idea. So we're going to do it in like that. Actually, I'm going to twist these a little bit. Put them like that. All right, and then we'll put one here. So at the end of the game for victory points, if you colonize anything in this short range zone right here, um, you're gonna get one point for that. In this medium range zone, you'll get two. Out here, you're gonna get three. So we want as many things as close to the middle as possible, but also in the mid range zone, and that cutoff is right along this line here. So that's why I'm putting some pretty close to that line. We have a whole cluster of satellites right in there. And then we'll get a couple. Do we have anything else we can put in? Not really. So we'll put a couple long range ones in case we need those extra points. Put that there, put that there. We have one more, let's plop it right here. That seems fine. Okay, we'll do the setup like that. We start in the middle. Uh, we are on turn number zero. There will also be a ghost ship. Uh, it has its own player board, but it is mysteriously off camera, as you imagine a ghost ship might be. So, we will play through. Can Captain McLaren get his 30 galactic points and complete the mission of an elite scientific branch? It begins now. All right, turn number one. First thing you do is flip over a card. Exploratory program. The player with the lowest le Oh, sorry. Before I do this, I forgot one thing. 
we get to upgrade two of our levels of technology. Um, and then the ghost player gets to upgrade the other three. So I think we're going to need antimatter, which are the black cubes. So I'm going to upgrade that one. And I also believe, so it's going to be between the energy development, which will give us orange cubes, and then the quantum physics will let us exchange oranges and whites and also move them about. I think I'm going to do the quantum physics uh, because that is the more cube intensive one to upgrade when we get to that point. All right, so that's there. Uh, this is where the ghost ship is off the side. Ooh, all right. Anyway, all right, ghost ship's all set up. And the ghost ship on every turn moves their little dials up the leadership track. All right, now we're ready for our exploratory program. The player with the lowest level in space travel may move each of their ships up to two hexes. Fantastic. We don't have a ship, uh, but if we can get a ship, um, we will be able to move it because we are the lowest in space travel. Currently, we are at the beginning space. They are on level one because they moved up where we didn't. Okay, so what do we want to do for turn number one? The ideal thing is for us to get cubes. Getting cubes is very important. Uh, the, we don't start with anything on Earth because we're playing a solo game. So how do we get our cubes onto Earth? There is a couple ways to do it, and I'm going to do it this way by generating an antimatter. So for my main action, I'll do that. I will put a black cube on Earth. They always come from this pool right here. And then I'm going to exploit or burn a white into the Colossus Pit where it will probably never return. And that gets me an orange and a white because I'm using the bonus action on the side. Um, I could also use another bonus action, which I think I will. We need stuff. Another one burned already. Turn number one, two resources gone forever. Great. Um, that will move me up one on this technology track right down here. And I get the bonus that is below it, which is an orange cube. So now we have two oranges, one white, and one black. A pretty good first turn. But for our exploratory program, we do not have any ships. So we have nothing to move anywhere, which is too bad. It would be nicer if that had come up a little bit later, but it did not. So we will move on to turn number two. All right, McLaren, you'll be able to uh, fly around in your ship shortly. But first, scientific research. So extraterrestrial knowledge. Each player may advance one technology by one level for free, burning one resource for every uh, technology leadership track that they gain. All right, that will be very good. So we will get that at the end of the turn. Um, that would be a good way to get our antimatter up one more time. I think that's probably what we're going to use that for. Um, the other thing is we do need some white cubes. So what would we like to do here? Oh, so the first thing is we get to see all of our inner planets. That's important. Okay, so we have two alien planets. Uh, these alien planets can only be colonized if we're up to number three on the antimatter science track. So that would be a good way to go. We can do it that way. We can, so Colony 21, every player gets one of these fancy dancy boards right here. It shows where, uh, what every colony will produce. If you make a colony there, what it takes to tra uh, terraform that colony, and then also what the production will be after that colony is terraformed. So 21, which we have right up here, is also a pretty good space that we could go to, try to colonize. Uh, the alien planets are even better though, because if we get an alien planet, then those are big, big points by the end of the game. We just have to use our antimatter a lot of the time to um, terraform them. So I think I am gonna go and try to get those alien planets. Uh, that's a good way to boost our points while we're still trying to increase our science and technology. Okay, so we did antimatter science last turn. At the end of this turn, 
we will gain one free technology, which will probably be antimatter science, um, but not, not assuredly. So let's see what we can do. What we can do. One, two, three. Interesting. One thing that we can do, and I think I actually will do it, is we will develop our technology right now. All right? So we can come up here. We can spend one white. Uh, that will increase our engines so we can get a ship. Put that back in the hold. Uh, we will also increase for two oranges and one black, or two energy and one antimatter. Um, we will get up to the antimatter switch, which allows us to produce um, two antimatters, and it also raises us one on this technology track, trying to keep up um, with that ghost ship. That is, is one of the more difficult things of the solo play is trying to keep up uh, with that ghost ship. Um, the next thing I think I'm going to do is... Game one. No. All right, I'm not, I don't think I'm going to do that. So uh, I won't do any bonus actions. I'm just going to end my turn there. Uh, if I had any ships, I could move them, but I do not. So we'll go back to our extraterrestrial knowledge. And each player may advance one technology by one level for free. So we are actually going to advance our antimatter science. Uh, so this means I have to burn two resources. I'm going to burn a white and an orange. And that's because there were two uh, pips on the leadership, on the technology leadership trap. Boop, boop. And I'll get one of those back. I think I'm going to get the white. I think I'm going to get the white. I'm going to consult my handy dandy little thing. Get the white. Hmm. No. If we go to the alien planets, we will need oranges. So. Down with the whites, up with the oranges. All right, so we are ahead on that track. That is the end of that. We go to turn number three. You can see in the solo game, as you kind of learn and go through, it goes very quickly. Flip a car card for the beginning of the turn. All right, McLaren, what do we got? We got the socio-political revolution. Each player with the fewest collected medals gains one in the technology leadership track or one in the colonial leadership track. All right. No one has collected any medal so far. Um, so both of us would be able to do that. And even so, the award, the awarding of medals is after you resolve the progress card. Um, so we will we'll have access to that. Um, we can gain one in either, either way we do it. Okay. So I think... I think I want to generate more antimatter. That's what I think. Because if I generate more antimatter, I can start doing things. Yes. All right. So I will go down here, produce antimatter, uh, because we upgraded our antimatter track, the antimatter science. We get two now instead of one. I'm also going to burn a white. I don't want to burn too many whites here. I don't want to. I'm going to do an orange. Keep, keep them even for right now. Uh, for an exploitation, the bonus action here, which gives me a orange and a white. Do I want to gain so that, that, that. I would like a white. Doing some mental math here. I could burn another one to gain progress on the scientific track. I don't think I need to. I don't think I need to. It would get me a medal. Those are rather hard to get in the solo play mode. Um, hmm. Burn another white. That would leave me with four whites in total. Enough to do everything that I would like. Yep, I'm doing it. Put that down there. We get that at the end of the round. 
And so I have an orange, two blacks, and a white, and a black. Excellent. And I can get another orange, or I can get a white. I think... Hmm. So we've come to resolving our progress card. No player has any medals, so we can gain one technology or one colonial leadership track. So the difference is whether I want a white or do I want a or an orange. Feel like I want an orange. No, I want a white. I want a white. All right, so now I gain my metal. I'll put this on this card right over here, and we will go to the next turn. Boom, we're up. Flip over, galactic mapping. Players must reveal four celestial bodies, one at a time, in turn order. Fantastic, so, so I'm just gonna reveal four. So that's how that is. All right, so we would like to get a ship, if at all possible. We would also like to increase our technology again. So do we increase our technology first? Or... I took a white, right? Yeah, that should be there. So do we want to increase our in technology first? Or do we want to... I believe we want to increase our technology first. Okay. So let's increase our technology. Go back up there. So I am going to use that for that. We're definitely gonna spend one white to upgrade our energy development. We now have cold fusion, nice. Now, what do we wanna do from there? I said we weren't gonna up upgrade our ships real fast, but it seems like that's what we're doing. Because we have a lot of blacks. And we want to upgrade as much as possible, as quickly as possible. So I'm going to take an orange and a black to upgrade this guy here. I'm going to take a white and a black to upgrade that to the end thing. That will get us two points. It also upgrades this one here, which means we get an orange cube. Um, if we can keep staying in front of them for this technology track, that is quite a few points. Uh, that we can potentially get, which would be great. Uh, but we have to remember that we want to increase our terraforming. Increasing our terraforming will likely come after we colonize uh, the planets. Do we want to burn anything to gain anything? Don't think so at this time. So that will be the end of our turn. We get to reveal four celestial bodies. So would I rather have 28? Or would I rather have, so this one up here is 28, this one right here is 26. It looks like I would rather have 28. Yep. All right. So that means we are going to reveal this one over here, which is 17. We'll reveal, well, let's reveal this one too. Ooh, a mine. So if I have a ship on, on this at the end of the game, I get two victory points. That'll be a nice little bonus. That's two. We'll do three here. Nice little one oceanic planet. Ooh, and here, this increases us up on this purple track right there. Okay, that is the end of that turn. We go to turn number five. We increase the ghost ship up one space. And the increasing of the ghost ship is really just used for progress cards. Um, this will flip over onto a new card. The Golden Era of Progress. Each player may produce one antimatter. That is fantastic. We can get that one for free. We produce all three of them anyway, so that's fine. We want to make a ship. So, I'm going to go down to our energy storage. Um, since we learned Cold Fusion, going on the energy storage will get us two oranges. And then I'm going to burn a white. Probably don't want to burn a white. Probably want to burn an orange. Yeah. 
Probably want to burn an orange. I'd also burn a black, but that doesn't seem good with what we're doing. How much do we need to terraform? We only need four. Yeah, this is fine. It, it'll be fine. McLaren, don't worry about me using all your resources right in the beginning of the game. Um, the bonus actions are such a good way to kind of get yourself off to that head start. So I am going to burn that, which will get me a ship. I'm going to point it towards 28. Uh, they already go three, so I will be there next turn that I can colonize. Fantastic. And the other thing I could do, is that worth it? I could also make a ship next turn. Mm. I will. Should I make a ship next turn? If I make a ship next turn, then the turn after that I can colonize two planets. But if I colonize that one planet, I think I'm just going to colonize the one planet and then try to colonize three planets with my second colonize action. Okay. So we've gotten right there. We've gotten our ship. Uh, we get to move our ship. Three spaces. One, two, three. Bam. It has landed on the planet. Um, each person can make one antimatter. Uh, the purple metal goes over to the ghost ship and we are ready to proceed. So you can see I went up on the technology track very quickly, but uh, the ghost ship has already caught me. We get to do scientific avant-garde. The player with the lowest level in antimatter science may make one of the following changes. One energy for one antimatter or one matter for one antimatter. We have already maxed out our antimatter science. We are not the lowest player. Um, so that, has n that does nothing for us this turn. So that's fine. What we wanted to do anyway was a little colonizing. So we take our ship off, we put our little disc down, and we get number 28 out of the stack of these cards. It is the last one. We'll put it there. So with a produce action, uh, we can make two oranges and one black. We don't have anything to produce yet. I'm going to switch in one of our oranges to get one of our whites. I can do that because we have our upgrade, upgraded quantum physics. So we can do that. All right, so we will have to increase our terraforming at some point um, within the near future. We'll do it that way. How do we do that? We'll find out later. Okay. So we colonized. Uh, we do not want to take any of the bonus actions. Uh, we are not the lowest on this. We have no ships to move, so we proceed to the next turn, which bumps these guys up. We'd very much like to bump up our technology track to get this metal right here. Right here. You just barely see my finger. Um, but I'm not sure we're going to be able to do it. So let's see what 7 brings us. Agreement on terrestrial resources. Play us with the low, lowest on the colonial leadership track, the purple track. You may produce one matter, and the player with the lowest on the technological leadership track may produce one energy, the orange. All right, so we're lowest on both currently. So maybe we do not want to increase our technology. Excuse me. <coughs> um, that might not be a thing we want to do at all. Oh, also... Uh, when we colonize that planet, there are two little symbols here. Um, that means we move up two on the colonial track. Uh, I forgot to do that, so we'll put that there. And I think I will get back an orange. Get back an orange or a white? Which one did I just say I needed? And I just said I needed one. I think I'm going to get back an orange. Yes, I will get back an orange. Okay, so... We need more stuff because we need to upgrade our terraforming. Something fierce. So we're going to go over to producing energy. We can produce two orange cubes from that. Um, I can change one of these over 
to a white because I will need my whites more than I will need my oranges. Just trying to see what we got here. Ideally, we want to upgrade terraforming as quick as humanly possible. We've only got four white cubes left, so we can only increase it so much. We can only increase it by two levels. And we'll have enough to do that next time, so there's no reason to burn any more resources. Um, we could burn a resource to make a ship, but it doesn't seem like that would be very good for this time. All right. So let's move to the end of the round because we have no ships to move. We have our agreement. We get a white. I'll put the orange over there. Uh, no, I'll put them all on Earth. Everything on Earth. Okay. Yeah, I think that makes more sense. Okay. Uh, it is on to the next turn. We go to eight. Now this is where we really want. So there's two medals up for grabs. Uh, we'll flip over a new card. Technological leadership. Play us higher, highest on the technological leadership track. Collects the next technology medal remaining on the track. Oh, all right. That. So what do we have to do to supplant that? We'd have to gain two. We do have enough to do that. We could do that. Um, I, so I'm going to go over and develop our technology. We could also do that. Doesn't seem nearly as good though. So let's develop our technology. So the thing that we had planned was to at least use those to get terraforming for the first level so we can produce from this. The other thing we can do we had also planned to use two more whites to get up our planetary engineering. But what we would like to do, so I can exchange, hmm, what we'd like to do is actually go up two in quantum physics because that will get us the two necessary to surpass them, get us two points directly. Does seem good. Does seem good. But then again, we cannot produce. We could do produce one. And I think that's what we got to do. Okay. Or we could do that. All right. I have, I believe I've decided on what we want to do. To we do that. We're just going to have an orange left over that does nothing, which is really too bad. That's okay though. We only have one black. So we're going to do that, that, and that. That, that, and that. Okay. First thing we do is use an orange and a white, and we will increase our quantum physics. The second thing we're going to do is use an orange and a white. That will increase our biosphere. Uh, the third thing we're going to do is use a white, an orange, and a black. And that will increase our quantum physics again. So that will gain us two on this leadership track. And it will let us do one exchange, three moves. So I'm going to move to here. I don't think I want to exchange at the current time. Because what I want to do is next turn produce here um, and get ready. Yeah. Produce there, get ready to make a few more ships, and then kind of go from there. Because I want to get on another alien planet and that all sounds great don't think I want to burn anything yet that'll come in the last four to five turns I'll burn the rest of uh, anything that I do not need so that looks like that fantastic 
Okay, so we will. Yeah, we gotta get our terraforming up higher, so we have to make whites. That means we gotta do that. Hmm. Our whites are gonna be an issue. Because this alien planet does not give us any whites when we produce. And then we could go over and get 21, which would produce two whites. Which would also be good. Okay, we'll have to keep that in mind. That is the end. I'm not going to use any bonus actions. So, uh, there's no ships to move. The, playest high, the player highest on the leadership... Uh, poof, highest... Poof, the highest player on the leadership track collects the next technology medal remaining on the track. So we are tied. Ties are friendly. We will collect this one there. Uh, we also collect the one from here. Ghost ship gets the other one over there. So we have three points per our leadership track, which is great. We're probably not going to gain. I mean, maybe we will gain some more. Uh, but it would be very difficult to gain any of the other medals at this point. So we will move everything up. We will flip over another card. Our fair development plan. The player lowest on the technological leadership track, which we are now again. Thank you for moving up, Ghost Ship. May advance one technology by one level for free if it does not contain an antimatter cost. That is very good for us. So we can upgrade our planetary, our terraforming one, um, because it does not contain an antimatter cost. That will help us a lot when we're going down to try to do we got to get terraforming up to level four and ideally we want to get quantum physics also up to level four so how do we do that one we want to make a ship so I'm gonna do planetary exploitation so we gain the number of cubes that are on the top of the card. So it's going to be two oranges and one black that we can put on our little colony right now. So I think I am also going to burn an orange to get an orange and a white. Yep. Put them there too. Because what I want to do... What does 17 give us? Two whites. That might be... Might be better. What I want to do is create a ship next turn to colonize more planets. I can move three. I don't have to make the ship next turn. Though I should. Okay. I'm going to swap out one orange for one white for my free action from quantum physics. And then I'm going to get a free black. So I don't have to do anything with that. How many whites do I want? Ideally, I want all the whites off so that I can upgrade that twice. But if I'm upgrading that twice, I'll probably want to colonize first. So my next turn is probably building ships. Probably building ships. Okay. That's fine. And I think I want to go to 17 and 26. All right, that is it for that turn. I get my antimatter. We'll put it on our new fancy planet. We will increase here and here. That increases everything on this track over here that you can't see for the ghost ship. Galactic mapping. Players must reveal four celestial bodies one at a time in any order. Uh, this is almost completely irrelevant to us at this time. 17, 21. Yeah, I think I want to go to 17 for the points. Yep. What does 26 give? Two. The other idea is because going going to 21 will get us two on this purple track and move us up to there, we could get some points from this as well. Um, I'm probably not going to terraform 17. So I'm, I'm not going to get the points from that. 
Probably not. Well, even if I did, terraforming, uh, they're both the same. Nope, terraforming 21 is one more. Okay. So I'm going to go to build some ships. I'm going to build one ship, two ships. One, I'm going to go to 21. <clears throat> and the next one, I'm going to point towards 26. All right, I do not want to burn a resource uh, to take an extra action. So these will move three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Next turn, they will be there and ready to go. Fantastic. All right. We will go up one more. This is on the turn. And we get cooperation for expansion. Each player may immediately build one ship for free. Excellent. That sounds fantastic. So for my free action, I'm going to turn in this orange for a white. I think what I'm going to do is planetary exploitation. So I get my two oranges and a black and antimatter. Um, so I get two oranges. I already used my free change, right? Okay. Because ideally we need to get all four of our whites onto this planet right here. That will be interesting. That will be very interesting indeed. How are we going to do that? Probably by colonizing. But then I can't move my black over. Oh no, I can move my black. Okay. So we're going to do that by colonizing. So we did all that stuff. We get to move our ships. Move them there and there. Um, each player may immediately build one for free. All right, what should we go towards? Um, obviously the mining is good to get. But I could also... One of my starships ships now. I could also go for another planet. We've got two alien planets. I forget to reveal four. I did forget to reveal four. So I'm going to reveal this guy. Two, three, ooh, four. All right. Don't forget to do things in the game. That's. I'm going to send this one off that way. That's my immediately build a thing for free. The ghost ship gets the token, and we move on to our next turn. Move these guys up. All right. Old energy protocols. Each player may take one of the following exchanges. One energy for two matter, or one matter for two energy. That is how I'm going to get my whites. Okay. So that is interesting. So I have one more turn then. So I'm going to use my free action to turn in an orange for a white. That's good. And then what am I going to do from there? I will. I've I'm constantly short one white, which makes me think I should have taken out the white uh, instead of the orange. But that's okay. That's fine. I could move my ship so that guarantees I can colonize next turn. I don't have that many turns left. Um, so I think that is what I'm going to have to do. I don't think I'm going to be able to terraform very many planets, if any at all. So that's how it goes. I also produce energy. I could also produce energy. Interesting. But then I can't. I need to colonize next turn, I think. Yeah. All right. 
I will do stellar propul 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 propulsion. Propulsion. Yes. Uh, I get to move my ships. Uh, I'm not going to take any of the bonus actions. So we move on to the next, uh, which is a ship move. All right, the ship is there. I'm going to turn in one of my oranges for the two whites. So now I have all four of the whites out, which is exactly what I wanted. We can do technology, production, and we should be able to get there. Okay, good. Whew. All right, that is that turn. We go on to turn number 13. Buff these guys up a little bit. And let's look at our card. Terraforming Project. The player with the lowest level in terraforming may produce one energy and one matter. Fantastic. That'll be good for us. All right, so I need to advance some technologies. Um, so I'm going to use two whites to advance my terraforming. I'm going to use two whites and a black to advance my terraforming again. Kicks this up here. I get an orange. And then, so I have an orange and two blacks. Does that do anything worthwhile? I could change it to a white. I could upgrade my space travel, but that does not, just seems like a waste of resources at this point. Okay. Okie dokie. That was that, that was turn 13. Um, my development. Fantastic. I still have, I am tied currently for the uh, lowest terraforming, so I get to produce an orange and a white. Hmm. That is interesting. Again, I'm one white short. Um, hmm. All right, it is how it is. We will go on to our next turn, turn 14. And what do we have? We have Colonial Leadership. Play us with the highest on the Colonial Leadership track. Collects the next medal for the round. All right. That is definitely not us. That is 100% not us. That is them. We need to colonize. Colonial Seating. Take off a ship. Put on a disc. Take off a ship. Put on a disc. And one more ship. And one more disc. Put our ships back. So we are getting number 26. We are getting number 27. And we are getting number 21. All right, I will move these guys down a little bit so we can fit these in. All right, so we get six in here. One, two, three, four, five, six. We get two whites from that. There's the whites that I needed. I knew I would get you eventually. Uh, all right, so I'm going to have to do technology next turn. Yeah, I'm not going to have a chance to terraform anything because I have to do a technology. That's too bad. We were one short, which may leave us a few points short on getting exactly what we need. But there's only one way to find out, um, and that's playing it through. So we have to advance one technology high enough to earn three prestige. So we can do that, or we could do it that way. So there's two places we can do. We can do it in terraforming, or we can do it in quantum physics. Um, either way we do it. Hmm. Let's first, we're going to take our development, I think. Unless, unless. There is a way to do something else. 
So if we do quantum physics, it's got to be those two, those two, and this. We will have a white and a black left. We will be able to do any number of exchanges. That is not enough, even if it was an orange or black, is not enough to terraform any of the planets that we have colonized. Okay. If we do, I mean, 21, the only one we could terraform is, no, we can't terraform any of them anyway, because we would need, so if we terraform one, it's going to cost this, which is basically the same thing, um, but that's okay. So we're going to get an orange from doing that. And that's still not enough. It's one short of terraforming. Hmm. That's too bad. That is very much too bad. How can we get one more block? And I think this is where I have the most fun in the solo version of the game because we need to figure out a way To do this. In our two turns. Because for this turn we did the colonizing. <clears throat> Next turn. Alright. Well, anyway, this is what we have for now. Um, so let's proceed from here. We did our colonizing, which is what we wanted to do. Um, we don't have any ships to move, anything like that. Uh, the progress card takes this last one away from this. The ghost ship gets all of that. And let us reveal our second to last card. An energy agreement. The player with the lowest energy in energy development, we do have that, may produce two energy. Okay. I think we can do this. All right, I think we can terraform a planet. So do we get better bonuses from tw terraforming 26 or 27? They are exactly the same. All right, interesting, interesting, interesting. So we have three X exchanges. So I'm gonna do 27. I'm gonna throw those over there. I'm going to do technological development um, and I'm gonna do an orange three whites and a green to get our last in terraforming that will give us three on this track one two three which gives us an orange which I will also put here oh we could have done 28 too it's all the same nothing changes all right 27 VM eight oh one oh one six. You're our man. Let's see let's see if we can do this. Um I will also burn burn a white to move up one more on the technology track. Terraforming doesn't do much. Okay. And I think that is it. Oh, should I burn one? Yes. I'm going to burn another white to get us up one on the technology leadership track. All right. So I have the least in energy development, so I get two oranges. I will put my two oranges right here because that is the one that we are going to terraform. It is now the last turn. Let's see what card we probably will not be able to use. Quantum assimilation. The player with the lowest level in quantum physics may make the following number exchanges any number of times. Uh, we are not the lowest player in quantum physics, so we cannot make those exchanges. Does not matter. The exchanges wouldn't matter anyway. Um, but that is what we have there. All right, so we are going to go to terraforming. We can terraform one or more planets. So we are going to spend three orange cubes and a black cube to flip over 27. 
And that will give us two more on the purple leadership track, uh, the colonial track. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna burn an orange to get one antimatter out to put right there. Fantastic. Um, that's what we got. Yep. That's what we got. Okay. That is the end of the game, so let's count up our victory points. So, uh, the at uh, the other side of your round marker is a final scoring marker. So again, we need 30 points, and we needed to complete the elite scientific branch, which is advance at least one technology high enough to earn three prestige. We have done that. So, let's see what we get. So, one victory point for each antimatter remaining on one of your planets. That's why I burned a resource to get this. We have one point. We have five victory points if you have colonized at least one planet of every type. No. Three victory points if you have colonized at least three planets of the same type. We have three alien planets. Boom. That's four. <laughs> three points makes four. All right, so we have four. Uh, two victory points for each starship located on a mine. Fortunately, we didn't do that. Uh, two victory points for each technology advanced to the maximum level. We have two, so we had four. Now we have eight. So we have eight. One victory points for each leadership medal collected. We collected three, um, so that's 11. One, two, or three victory points for each colonized planet in the short range, mid range, or long range. So we have three in the short range, that's three points. We have one in the mid range, that's another two points. We had 11, that's another five. So now we have 16. All right. Uh, VPs for the position of your markers on the leadership tracks. So we have uh, five right here, and we have four right here. That's another nine. We had 16. Now we have 25. All right, VPs for each terraformed planet. Uh, we have terraformed that one planet for five more points. That is 30. And then we have VPs for your, your completed secret objective. We completed that. We get three more. Our final score is 33. Uh, and we have won the first level of the second campaign. There you go. Uh, that's a little teaser on kind of how to play. Obviously, it was not a complete rules overview. Uh, what I kind of wanted to do is, you know, you can get rules overviews or reviews um, and general opinions uh, from other people who put videos online. But go, kind of going through a session, seeing how everything kind of works together, understanding where the sticking points are and where the kind of thought process goes through, I thought was important. So hopefully you enjoy the video, and I thank you all for watching. Uh, I am the Board Game Estate. My name is Patrick. Uh, we are on Twitch TV uh, slash Board Game Estate. We're also on YouTube at Board Game Estate, also on Instagram at Board Game Estate. Uh, please like our content. Uh, we have so much fun making it for you, and have a great day. Thank you.